plays and feels totally out of this world. When entering Torrey Pines, you have a few different options. You can enter for free if you find parking in the north or south parking lot by the beach. However, you will have to walk up the side of a cliff to even begin hiking in the beautiful trails at Torrey Pines. I personally, and I would recommend it as well to you, I drove into the park by getting a day pass, which is around $20, but if you're going with a few people, that's super cheap for the whole group, and this will allow you to get to the hiking trails very quickly and be able to save your energy for actually exploring and walking around the beautiful coast. Here comes that girl. Excuse me. Once you make your way into the park, look for the trail markers and the sign showing you the way towards Razor Point. This is a great place to head towards because it provides amazing views, panoramic views of your surrounding area. You're not like the other girls. I know, I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> Make your way towards Yucca Point Overlook for some spectacular views of the water in the coast in front of you. Then head towards Beach Trail, which will take you down towards the water. You need to be careful. I'm sorry, you need to be careful. Hear that, guys? She loves me. <laughs> you told me you hoped I died yesterday. Ooh, I hope I get bit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please do me a huge favor and just scroll down and click subscribe. Through my analytics, I am able to see that 99.1%, gotta get that point one in there, of all my views and watch time is coming from people who are not even subscribed to the channel, which is pretty much every single person, except for my subscribers. I love and I see you guys out there. If you really would consider clicking subscribe, it would be awesome. I'm close to monetizing my channel. I just need to get to 1,000 subs. That's all for my little ad break. Let's get back to the video. It's supposed to be the skinny one. Hiking is out of this world, but geology, ocean views. You can hike here, spend the whole day here on the beach. Honestly, I feel like I'm in heaven right now. Torrey Pines, you have to do it. After you've spent a sufficient amount of time exploring down on the beach, complete your hike by making your way towards North Fork Trailhead. If you head back along the road, back towards the parking lot, you will make a big loop that you've begun, and you can continue even further if you haven't had enough. I haven't had enough, guys, so let's keep on going. Hit up the High Point Overlook, and you will get some amazing ocean views on one side. And on the other, you can get some interesting contrasting views of the mountains. So that's a nice little best of both worlds for you, if you will. Now take the nearby Perry Grove Trail around sunset and you will not be let down, hopefully, as I was able to end my amazing day with an unforgettable California sunset. So that's all for my guide slash experience to uh, my time I spent in Torrey Pines. It honestly is one of the most beautiful places I've been, period. I spent a couple hours. You could easily spend a half day or a full day if you want to hang out on the beach a little bit, hit up some side trails, go up and down the coast. Fun fact, there's a nearby area called Black Beach, which is a little bit further south. It's clothing optional. <laughs> so if that's your thing, you're a creep.
And yeah, if you want some other interesting views, you'll definitely get some, although they might not be, uh, might not be, well, they'll be natural, but they might not be scenic if you catch my drift. That's my take on Torrey Pines, guys. You have to make it a part of your itinerary if you're visiting anywhere in the um, San Diego area in general. I loved it, and I hope that you will make the journey there too. It's been real. Peace.